everyone, welcome to Como Live, funded by the Legacy Amendment. My name is Allison and I am one of the senior keepers here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. We're here today to talk about our harbor seals. So we just got two harbor seals in. Uh, in September they arrived here at Como Zoo. I actually went on the transport to go get them from the Louisville Zoo, uh, where Louisville has been kind enough to hold them for the past two years while we've been under construction for Como Harbor. So harbor seals and sea lions are part of a family called pinnipeds, and that means fin-footed, fin flipper-footed, and so they are going to be a part of our Como Harbor exhibit. These two guys are Cash and Killian. Killian is the darker of the two, and Cash is the one that's underwater right now, um, but they'll be popping up and probably saying hi to us through the windows. They just had a training session and they are still in quarantine, which means that we are taking precautions to make sure that they don't bring anything to our collection and that, they, that we also in turn don't bring anything to them from our collection. So we wear Tyvek suits and we change our boots and we have specific gloves um, and they're doing great. They're doing great with quarantine. They're doing great with their training. Uh, they did have training while they were at Louisville Zoo. And so we do two to three training sessions a day all using operant conditioning, positive reinforcement. 
and they are fantastic little eaters. Both Cash and Killian eat about 10 pounds of fish a day, and that can vary down from about eight to all the way up to 12, and even more once we actually get out into the outdoor exhibit and they have to keep themselves nice and warm with their blubber layer. Both of them are right around 120 pounds, uh, give or take, and they are seven and eight years old. Cash is eight and Killian is seven. Uh, they were born at SeaWorld Orlando, and they then went to the Miller Park Zoo in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, they are not brothers, but we end up calling them brothers, still brothers from another mother, basically. Um, but they are very well bonded to each other, and they are going to do fantastic here in Como Harbor. So a lot of people are confused or have questions about what is the difference between a seal and a sea lion. And so I can help you out with a few of the key pointers on what the difference is. If you look closely at their heads, you'll notice that the seals do not have ear flaps. So they don't have an external ear. And we call this a pinna in the pinnipeds. So sea lions have an external ear flap. It's a little cone-shaped ear flap that comes off of their heads. Uh, but seals don't have this. They just have an opening where their ear would be. One of the other differences between seals and sea lions is the size of their front flippers. So if you'll notice Cash and Killian, their front flippers are about the size of my hand. And this makes it so that they can use those front flippers to propel or to steer through the water and they use their back flippers to steer. So you'll see them kind of moving their back, fl or back flippers to propel themselves. So they'll move their back flippers in an undulating motion to get themselves propelled through the water. Sea lions, on the other hand, have a front flipper that's about the size of my hand or my arm, and they use their front flippers to push themselves through the water and their back flippers to steer. So that's one of the biggest differences. Another big difference, if you notice when they come out on land, and they might not come out on land right now, but they did during the training session, is that seals stay really low to the ground and they move along land much like an inchworm. Sea, uh, sea lions, on the other hand, have the ability to tuck their hind flippers up under their body and they kind of walk along land more than, more than just kind of inch along. So those are the three big differences between seals and sea lions. Um, another difference that you'll notice here at Como Harbor is that sea li or seals have this spotted coat pattern. Now that's not always true for all seals, but the harbor seals do. Harbor seals are found in harbors all across the world but they're primarily in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Baltic oceans. I don't know what that noise. Um, they can live to be 30 to 35 years with females typically living longer than males. Um, and as we continue to, con to grow in our healthcare with our animals, animals are living longer. So hopefully these guys will be around with us for a very long time. Now we are excited about the opening of Como Harbor. It is, uh, COVID has taken a toll on all of us, but um, we are still on track to get it open and have it ac accessible for the public. And we're hoping to welcome everyone to a grand opening, hopefully in the spring of 2021 when it's safe to do so. We have a lot of great features in Como Harbor that we're excited about, including the Otto Bremer underwater trust, uh, Otto Bremer trust underwater viewing area. Um, and our KSTP amphitheater. You'll, you'll see the amphitheater when you walk through Como Zoo, uh, if you come here during a reservation time, and you'll see just how massive it truly is. And the shade structures are wonderful, and we're super excited about everything. So we just popped over to the other side of the aquatic building so that we could see the sea lions. As I said, Cash and Killian are in quarantine, which means we're keeping them separated from the rest of our pinniped collection. Uh, but this right here is Subi. Subi is a 12 year old, maybe 13, gosh, time flies, um, female California sea lion. And she came to us from the wild. She was actually a um, <clears throat> rehab animal and she was a potential shark bite victim. So she has some free floating bones in her back flipper that the vet at the rehab facility felt she would be, she would have trouble with in the future. And so she was deemed unreleasable. In addition to Subi in here, we have Cece or Celia, and she is probably in the back pool right now. And she is a 30 year old California sea lion. So Cece's getting up there in age. Sea lions don't live quite as long as seals. Um, typically, so she is a, an elderly lady, we call, we consider her, 
but she is doing fantastic. And she's the smaller of the two that are out here in the, in the pools. In addition to Cece and Subi, we have two other sea lions, Nico and Poppy, and both of them are four years old. And they're currently off exhibit in a, an additional pool that we have um, to make sure that they're well bonded to each other and to make sure that everything is ready to go for when they have to get to Como Harbor. Subi's actually kind of showing off, sliding into the water. She just had a training session not too long ago, so she has uh, got a nice full belly, kind of showing off, being a little silly, silly one, but she's doing great. Um, Subi is actually Sparky number seven, and Cece was Sparky number six until she retired in 2013. As far as training goes, we have trained our animals for a variety of behaviors, but a lot of our behaviors are based on husbandry. So things that'll allow us to help them take care of their, their own health care. So things like brushing their teeth, uh, applying eye drops, moving onto a scale so that we can get a weight are all things that we do to make sure that our animals stay happy and healthy. Um, in addition to the, the husbandry behaviors, we do a lot of show behaviors as well, especially with the sea lions because they will be part of the, sh the Sparky show once it comes back online. And we are excited to have her do porpoises through the water or bal balance a ball on her nose or do all kinds of fun um, different behaviors that allow us to show off their strength and agility. They are amazing creatures. Both seals and sea lions are amazing creatures. And we're really happy to be able to show them all to you here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Thank you guys for watching Como Live, funded by the Legacy Amendment. We are excited to have you come to Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Go online and make your reservation to join us today.